Never in doubt, eh, boys? Yeah, uh, yeah, it was quality um, to come home at the end. A bit, a bit of luck, no doubt about that. Um, but, you know, you need a bit of luck to win some football matches um, sometimes. And uh, luckily for us, uh, that luck fell our way, to, particularly towards the end there. You started so strongly, it was just a matter of, you know, possession, going with possession. Yeah, definitely. That's the way the way it went. Uh, we got off to a good start, as you mentioned. Uh, then we conceded a few uh, errors. I think uh, the Broncos had uh, seven out of eight uh, plays, uh, ruck plays after that. So um, they scored a couple of tries and, and put their noses in front. So um, definitely the, the flow went with the way um, the possession, the way of possession. Um, and that's just the case today's game. When well, Jamie Lyon got that ball in before he threw it to um, Williams, did you? Did you know he was going to score? Is Jamie just that sort of player that you would have done everything right? Oh, look, Jamie's a quality player, and he has been all his, all his career. Um, he's, I think he's like a, a fine wine. He's getting better as the years go on. So um, he's playing some great football, great football awareness. And um, if anyone was going to put the uh, Dave Williams in a position to score a try, it would, would be him. Do you really think it was all over when, you know, Lost possession, and you had those two guys hurt at the same time. You must have thought, "Wow!" Yeah, look, the, the way, the way again, the way I thought we made a lot of costly, silly errors today, particularly around the ruck area, um, which is uncharacteristic of us. But um, um, the boys <coughs> showed a lot of character to hang in there, and um, that's footy these days. You know, you get there's some fantastic um, tries being scored over the last few years, and if you hang in there long enough um, and you get a bit of luck, then you know we can get out of those, uh, those escape those. Uh, those um, losses like we did today. So how is Chop? Oh, yeah, look, I have to assess him. He's got um, a bit of um, uh, whiplash nerve troubles down his, um, down his arm, so um, we'll have to assess him later on today and tomorrow. What, what was he? Was he complaining of a lack of feeling? Oh, it's it just a usual nerve thing, I think. It's coming good, though, so um, I'm sure um, I'm sure it'll be OK. Um, hopefully tomorrow, but um, yeah, it's like one of those um, uh, burners down your arm, I think he's just got jolted and uh, um, and set off his nerve a little bit. It's weird the way both boys got whacked, you know, one after the other. Yeah, it'd be interesting to have a look. I, I didn't get a drunk. chance to have a look at it, but um, obviously the officials didn't think there was anything wrong with it. Uh, maybe a bit late, but it's a collision sport, those things happen. Did you get a look at it at all, Jason? Oh, not really, no. I didn't think it was... There's too much in it. Just a good, good, good bit of physical football, I thought. But um, yeah, those boys would be right. They bounced up. Well, those crossfield kicks, particularly some of the low trajectory ones, really hard to handle. Were they giving some of your boys a nightmare out there? Um, yeah, I, th I think they did. Yeah, they certainly scored a few tries off it. So no doubt that's something we'll assess on the, on the video this week. And um, yeah, we want to obviously want to fix that going into next week. But um, yeah, thought, full credit to the Broncos. Though I thought they really played a good game tonight. Um, you know, we just hung in there, hung in there, hung in there. Something we worked pretty hard at, but um, yeah, I thought they, I thought they played some quality football. Can you imagine that Gillette in a Origin jumper? Yeah, he's a tremendous player. Yeah, he's a real handful. Um, good ball carrier, and obviously um, continues to push up. Scored a couple of tries off kicks and stuff. And yeah, I think he's a he's a quality player, and certainly wouldn't look out of sorts in a um, maroon jersey. That's for sure. Jason, you don't see Corey Parker miss four goals too often, especially the one early in the second half. How much did that really kept you in touch on the scoreboard? How much of a boost was that? Yeah, it certainly kept us in touch, yeah, that's for sure. Um, you know, we'd scored one try and they'd scored three and the, the difference was only four points. So, um, yeah, unlucky for him, he had, a, he had an off night with the boot. Jason, is that the toughest game of the year? Oh, they're all tough. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that was certainly a physical game. I thought they played really well, really stuck it to us. There was plenty of collisions. It was a um, really tough match. Is it, is it a result like there was criticism of the standard of football a couple of weeks ago being, being boring and seems to have really stepped up a year since then? Are we seeing teams sort of get into the groove a little bit more? And that, that's why we're seeing games like this time. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's a, it's a fair summation. Everyone's starting to warm up. It's at around 10 now. I've been at it for a while. So, yeah, I can only see the, the games getting better quality. Um, certainly tonight, I'm sure everybody that was at the stadium would have really enjoyed that spectacle, that's for sure. Tubes, you're obviously going to enter period now, of eight or so weeks without some significant players. How are you, how are you approaching it? Did you think about it during the summer? 
Uh, not really. Um, look, we've we started the year um, really well. Um, then we had several injuries and then a suspension to uh, one of our key players. So we've been missing three or four quality players since really since round one. So um, we've dealt with it with the um, the players we've got. They've done a great job. Um, I think we will we will be missing a couple of players, sure. Um, but we have to deal with that just like the Broncos do every year. So. Um, We'll, uh, we'll just wait and see what happens on Sunday and who gets picked and, and go from there. Is Kieran, is Kieran Foran, is he a week-to-week proposition or do you have any sort of longer-term knowledge? No, no, he's, he's a, it's purely a hamstring thing um, and uh, he could have possibly played today, um, but uh, medical advice was just to give him another week, get it right, because we knew we'd be missing a few next week. So uh, if we get through this game, and rather than re-injuring it and being out for another couple of weeks, um, get it right and... Um, See you the rest of the season, we hope. Touch wood. I think Queensland should go for a more classic utility player than Daly Cherry Evans. <laughs> I think for my benefit, yes. Um, we saw what happened, I suppose, yeah. in the test match, where um, if, yeah, a specialist, a specialist on the bench is difficult. So, But um, that's just me being selfish. But um, if uh, Daly gets selected, I think he'd do a great job. He's a tremendous player, and um, I think we've seen that over the last year and a half. Thank you. No other injuries other than those two. No, it's a shock again. Two. Two. Oh, sorry. I was just thinking of four and oh, he was okay. down being treated. He's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah.